When you push that button, what happens while you stand and wait? This is the elevator controller. It's the brains of the operation. It knows where the elevator is, where the elevator was, and where it wants to go. If you get into an elevator and push a button, you'll activate a relay that'll tell the elevator where you want to go, and it will take you there. Relays are electromechanical switches grouped together to perform like a simple computer. For over a century, they've been used to decide which car to send when you press the button. The logical answer is to send a car that's closest. But what if that car has 10 people on it? Would you want to get on that car? The car that could get there first always answered the call. This formula made wait times short, but could lengthen travel time if the car had to make a lot of stops. But elevators have become a lot smarter with the advent of modern computers. In Times Square, a revolutionary new control system was adopted at the Marriott Marquis, one of the busiest hotels in New York. Tourists and conventioneers ride to the lobby on the eighth floor. Here, the 45-story atrium is a surreal contrast to the busy street below, and elevators are the main attraction. On average, over the last 10 years, we've run more than 90% occupancy. Any given day, we have between 4,000 and 8,000 people in the building. It's quite a busy place. The hotel has been a cash cow for Marriott since the day it opened, but the architects hadn't planned on all the elevator traffic, and guests had to wait forever. I just want to be able to get out of my room and go down to the show, and you know, so I'm pushing the button. I can look out the window, and there they are. All the Broadway theaters laid out below me. But the damn elevators don't come. We had nothing but complaints of people waiting for elevators. We had to find something different. You can't add elevators to existing buildings without tearing them apart. So instead of adding muscle, Marriott added more brains by adopting a new control system called Destination Dispatch. Instead of just a up or down button, you have a keypad, and the keypad wants to know what, el what floor you want to go to. It's as simple as pushing your destination, in this case, case 33. It's telling us to go to our left, to elevator B. The elevator is identified by the insignia over the top. Also, as you step into the elevator, you'll notice that there is a destination indicator, so you confirm where you're going. And now you step in and simply enjoy the ride. For passengers, it's simple enough, but the change is profound. Before destination dispatch, control systems never knew where people were going until after they boarded the car and hit the button. The main thrust there was to get the elevator to the demand as quickly as possible. Really wasn't looking to the second part, which was how do you get you to your destination. When passengers enter their floor on the keypad before they board, the system uses totally different formulas or algorithms to decide which car should answer the call. The control system takes the information from each of the waiting passengers and tries to put people with, who are going to common destinations on the same car. So that will, that will minimize the number of stops. The number of stops was cut in half making travel time shorter, and boosting the capacity of the whole system by a whopping 30%. The customers are tremendously happy, especially customers who stayed here for the first 15 years or 16 years the, the building was open. You know, they feel like they, they've come to a new hotel. Destination Dispatch is here to stay. But for some, it's a problem because there aren't any buttons to press in the car. Well, I guess this is the newfangled elevator. There are no buttons. You just you, 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 you press in the lobby the floor you want to go to, and you get in the elevator, and it just takes you someplace. It's supposed to be cutting edge. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm used to it. pressing the button and having the illusion of control over the elevator. Putting your fate in the hands of an elevator can make even seasoned veterans feel helpless.